how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Samworks channel. Today we are building the high grade double O, the Ravarel Gundam. I don't know, is that how you pronounce it? But you know, anyway, box art looks pretty good. And um, you know, let's talk at the side. So we have an unpainted uh, finished, and we got some actions and some uh, introduction as well. And then at the other side, we got the pilot Tiriade and the uh, machined introduction. So, you know, quickly just let's open that. And so we got we got four packages and at the bottom we have a instruction manual and you know turn to the back we got the uh double movie introduction, we got the color guide down at the below and some innovators uh MS introduction. Ribbons Gundam. I like that one. And uh we got the Weapon introduction in here and some instruction menu. Let's just quickly flick through it. So you know, nothing really special actually. Yeah, yeah. I would just uh, open up the packages first. All right, now let's quickly look at the runner. So we got a D runner. I believe this is the backpack and the claws as well, and as well as the torso. This is a C runner. The display stand of the claws and the MS. This is a A runner, we got a rival, the antennas, the chest piece, uh, the waist piece, and uh, some hand joints, some hands option, and some feet part, and as well as some uh, the backpack part as well. Two F runners. Uh, this is the GN drive on the backpack and some joint of the MS as well. And two E runner. Uh, the E runner is yeah. Both of them is exactly the same. We got the large backpack cannon and we got the claws and as well as the feet and arms and shoulders as well. The B runner shoulder parts and uh, we got. Back waist, some legs, some uh, kneecaps, uh, some feet parts, some hands, some the head as well, and as well as the uh, torso and some waist part as well. Then we have two polycaps. We have a large one and a six-piece one and a sticker. That's I assume that some part of it is going to be uh, sticker review color. Well, anyways. I'm pretty excited on building this one because you know this is one. This is my like my favorite uh, double movies ca uh, MS. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna see you at the review.
Hey, welcome back to the review of the Rubber Bell Gundam. So this is the finishing of it. I didn't put on the backpack first because, you know, I need to introduce the backpack separately because the backpack actually blocked uh, a lot of movements on the Gundam. So I won't show. So I can't show you any articulation or anything special on the Gundam if I didn't remove the backpack. So I decide I'll just put the backpack on when I get to that part. And uh, you know, uh, it actually looks kind of good, though. You know, you don't need to do too much repainting. Just this is very good, though. You don't need to do too much repainting. Plus, the Gunpla design itself, it's not looking that bad, anyways. So, you know, I I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's just jump straight into the review. All right. So as usual, let's start with the head. So the head can move up, move down, and uh, 360 as well. And the head actually have a, for me, the head is actually a very special design uh, other than Gunpla's because I don't usually see there's like two extra parts of the head, like, you know, snap it out. And certainly I don't see too much uh, MS actually have a jar design. But uh, this one is actually pretty special. So the stickers of the top of the head is uh, stickers and the eye camera is the sticker as well. Overall, the color separation on the head is pretty good. And, you know, take a look at the torso. So it's purple theme. And um, let's just introduce the movement. So it can turn around 360 without the backpack, of course. And uh, you can slightly move up and down. And at the back, of the backpack, uh, not the backpack, actually the connector. We have a small thruster detail here. Uh, the thruster can move uh, 90 up and 90 down. So that thruster is gonna move up when the backpack is going on and I will show you later. All right, now let's introduce the arms. So the arms move 360 without the backpack, can bend uh, 90 degrees, move to the side over 90 degrees and uh, that's pretty much it and the and the hand down here can twist a uh, twist around uh, 360 as well. The whole upper arm can move 360 as well. And it actually is a double ball joint. So, you know, the shoulders gain a little more movement than usual. And gotta say though, yeah, the arm design is actually based on the Galesa design. If you can, if you can tell, like this kind of <coughs> very break. Uh, shoulders, so you know you can definitely tell the design is from the Galeta. All right, now let's talk about the lower body. So the side skirt is a ball joint, so you can move it to whatever position you want. And the front skirt uh, can lift up 90 as usual. The back skirt is completely mounted. The f uh, so front kick is just give me a second. So front kick uh, 90 degrees, side kick uh, nearly 90. So the bend is actually a pretty good bend movement, though it's about 130. The, the legs down here is a double joint so you can move the tip of the feet and the black part on the feet and the, actually the bottom part of the feet is stickers. Uh, I like how they give you the detail of the bottom of the feet with a sticker as well. At least they give us the detail and the color separation so we don't have to repaint it ourselves. And mine have a little bangle uh, so this side of the legs are snap perfectly and this side of the legs no matter I try to glue it or uh, doing anything else try to fix it and it doesn't it just doesn't snap together like every time when I try to put in the uh, the leg on it and it just spit the gap out again so I decided to give up on trying to fix that all right so it's now time for me to introduce the weapon so as you know this one is a this MS is a you know, uh, fire is small in a firefight than uh, overall combat. So the only accessory you got is a GN rival, and that's it. And you know, that's nothing to introduce. But the pa but the point is on the backpack. So this is the backpack. It's a pretty large backpack, as you can tell. It's the Zera V Gundam 2. So this one can be transformed because you know it's a HG. So you expect it to transform? No. So let's just give a little short you know, introduction. So this is the waist part of the Zero V Gundam 2. This is the legs of the the claws is the Zero V Gundam's 2 legs. And this is the head here. It actually gives you the detail of the head as well. But the head you need to repaint it yourself. So have fun with it. This is the GN drive and the shoulders part and the bazooka. And this is basically the torso. So the GN the GM part is actually the torso as well. So that's just basically how uh, 
it looks like if you you know can transform it and now I'm going to show you how to put it so first flip up the thrusters and there's a connector at the backpack so you just basically aim at it and snap it on and there you go it looks kind of weird actually don't judge it, it looks kind of weird so after you put it on it should look like this so now it looks very heavy that's true it actually looks very heavy and it looks complete now so all the movement that I introduced before except the legs the arms part and the head part will get blocked from now on and the special part of the backpack is this time you can't you can so this time they give you a separate part of the GN clothes in a position that opened or you can say fire the cannons and they did give you the stand to do that so I'm just gonna show you one side so if you want to switch around the GN clause you just basically pull down the piece here and then you extend the claw at the back then you put it on then you put it on to the uh, then you put it onto the GN claws and you just, and it's supposed to look like this so now it's a complete open position and you can also put it onto the display piece like this so you can put one on each side to make it balance and you know you can recreate to the scene that the rubber on them shoot out the or you know uh, move out the GN claws and claw on the enemy as well you can remake that scene so I think it's a pretty good feature to you know include that kind of detail but I wish the claws is not by part swapping it's actually just a uh, piece of uh, plastic that you can you know open up and then sh put it back but I assume that's gonna pretty lose pretty soon because you know poly caps if you keep moving like this eventually it's gonna damage the material and start to become very loose so this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this uh, there's not much to talk about it because you know during this Gunpla don't really have too much accessory to talk about so there's actually not that much to introduce but I still gotta say though it's a really cool thing to you know have the design of the Gunpla but I wish the claws is you know uh, by parts not by part swapping it's actually a part that you can flip out and then you know put it back but that's not gonna possible and you know if this one is gonna make a MG version of it please make the claws no need no need to require any pass swapping and please make the Sarah V2 uh, Sarah V Gundam 2 uh, posable and that will pretty much my comment <clears throat> so this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more Gamma review and I will definitely see you next time with another video goodbye